Hello, welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Brian Shea. Hello. Hello. Alex Stadnick. Hello. How's it going? Well, I was going pretty well until I realized this is supposed to be New Gameplay Today. This game is old. What's happening? This is Gears 5, ladies and gentlemen. This game, uh, one of the best shooters of 2019. Yes, but what's the twist? However, however... This is being run on Xbox Series X. Whoa! This is the Xbox Series X version. So uh, a lot of the Microsoft first party games are optimized for Series X and Gears 5 is no exception. This is uh, the Series X version. But we're not just going to hang out and play a Gears 5 all day. Thank you. <laughs> Look at oh, that. Man. Oh, man. Boop. This isn't six stunts. No. Uh, you want to check out some other stuff? Absolutely, please. <laughs> all right. So, just jump between some games here. So this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Speaking of some of the best games of last generation, mm -hmm. this, using the quick resume feature, uh, it sits on this uh, screen for just a second, and then you're right into wherever you left off. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show off how this loads. Uh, I'm in the DLC, the, the second DLC. So spoiler alert, if you haven't played the DLC, we're loading into Hades. Mm. I should probably cover my eyes then. This is my forever game. I don't think I'm ever going to beat this. It's a very good game. Yeah. So the load times are cut significantly. Like, I think if you go on GameInformer.com, you can see the comparison chart. And I think it was like a full minute is cut off of the load time yeah. uh, of games like Final Fantasy 15 and uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, which will show both of those games off the yeah. load times. Uh, for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I think it was like 30 seconds was cut off. Well, how are we going to get our tips? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. How am I going to scroll Twitter for an hour? Yeah. Well, easy. You just delete Twitter. Ah. There you go. There it is. So you can see it runs pretty smooth. It loads mm -hmm. pretty fast. Um, this isn't obviously the the big like open world of Greece uh, in the main game. This is part of the DLC. So maybe it loads a little differently. But my save file is relegated to this part. So ah. I can't really test that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. you're you're feeling the difference. Yeah, now definitely. It, it runs very smooth. Like as I'm running around, it, it feels great. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I can't really fast travel in this. So let's go to a different game where I can fast travel. Um, ignore some of these games. UFC four. Uh, I don't think that is something can't, you can fast travel. Can't in. Fast travel. Mm. Uh, let's do Final Fantasy fifteen. Oh, look at them. They're just a bunch of bros. So this is like a load from the very beginning. Like this is not quick resume at all. Final Fantasy 15, I did not have running. Um, so we have to go through all like the menus. Ah, I remember that. For fans and first timers. Mm. Which I think is an apt description of this game because I, I'm a fan of Final Fantasy, modern Final Fantasy mm -hmm. at least. I really like this game. Yeah. Uh, and I know people who have been... Uh, novices to final fantasy and they've really liked this game it's very interesting stuff yeah well we got to fill this time somehow <laughs> uh load game so i did a new game plus recently so i'm level 52 but like way in the beginning mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's load that is that the assassin's creed logo yeah because there's the assassin's festival crossover event that they did and i think if you did that at some point on your save file it gave you that and then like it also let you Go back and earn that stuff. Gotcha. Um, or you can you, you can equip that stuff. So that was pretty fast loading in there, especially oh. for an open world game. Yeah, is the quick resume your favorite part of the the Series X so far? Like, can you talk about that at all? Um, yeah, I I think it probably is that and just the overall load times, just because it does let you get back into the game like at the fastest possible uh, fastest possible way, like. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to jump back over into Assassin's Creed, I could do that right now without having to, you know, worry about. Uh, all right, shut up, everyone. <laughs> I could I could jump right back into the game without having to reload through like the opening menus and all like the stuff in the beginning. Um, so we can do that right now if we want. Just show going back into mm -hmm. it because on an Xbox One, it would quit whatever game you were in before, yeah. and you have to go through all the menus and everything. Whereas this, you get a brief uh, art screen, mm -hmm. and then. There's a moment of being frozen, and then it's right back to this. Damn, that's unreal. It seems like there's going to be a trade-off built in, though, because, like, having multiple games kind of in this frozen state, I'm assuming prevents them, if there's an update, from updating those games in the background. So if there's a game that you get 
on day one and you're super excited about it and you play it all night and then bounce between something else and you have that kind of stuck in stasis in the back end when that inevitable week one update comes you'll probably have to like manually go I, through all that i right? bet it will probably do something similar to what it does now where it like it tells you that there's an update available mm -hmm. um let's go to something else so this is non-final uh Let's play a next gen game, but this is non-final dashboard. So this is the preview dashboard. So mm -hmm. they're going to give me an update in a little bit that's going to have uh, the actual launch experience. So right now, what you're seeing in the back end as I'm going through is totally not the experience you will have. Uh, I mean, may, it might be. I have no idea what the experience that they're going to put out is going to be. But uh, yeah, let's play a next gen game here. Yeah. The Gears 5 was optimized for Series X. Mm -hmm. However, this is an actual, the next gen version of Dirt 5. Okay. So let's do a little race in here. You like driving around in one of these, Cork? It's what I live for. Yeah, absolutely. That's <laughs> what you drove in here yep. today. Yep, that's why I have a big mud stripe up my back. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually one of the slower loading games that I found was Dirt 5. Really? Interesting. And I don't know if that's because of the developer. I don't know if that's because it's just not particularly optimized, but it's still relatively fast, as mm -hmm. you can see. So we're up in uh, South Africa, Lion's Head. Mm. Very nice. Have you liked your experience with Dirt so far? Yeah, so far it's been fun. Huh. Uh, I've not done this race or driven in one of these bad boys yet. Well, let's do some jumps. Oh, yeah, it oh. feel, feels pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to be a disaster. Right here. I can see the bottleneck <laughs> yeah. coming. One of uh, one of the things Sony oh, is. Oh God! You. Uh, well, that, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> one of the one of the things Sony has uh, has championed with its PS5 launch coming up is the the haptic feedback on the con uh, for the their controllers. The, mm -hmm. Yeah. Is has Xbox gone into that as well? Like, are you? feeling like you're in a racer right now yeah. or i mean i'm feeling it in it, they had that for uh xbox one as well but yeah I'm, I'm still feeling like the the feedback in the triggers like when i slam on the brakes you feel it in the left side and because that's where the, the left triggers break uh and when you're accelerating you feel like a little bit of a rumble on the right side cool uh so yeah you get that with this as well um how different it is because Sony's also been touting like the ability to. Uh, I'm really doing bad here. It's okay. But uh, he, Sony's been touting the ability to like, like developers can program the uh, the the triggers to have different like tension. Like so, it mm -hmm. feels like if you're playing like like Horizon, for example, uh, they did not specifically name Horizon, but they gave this example of like if you're pulling back a tightly strung like bowstring, mm -hmm. it'll they can make it so that like it feels like more tense, yep. more tension in the, the actual trigger itself, which is pretty cool. For sure. I think the example I was reading about that was exciting is like adding tension midway in a point of a like trigger pull to simulate a double barrel shotgun. So you know when you feel that resistance, if you continue, you'll fire both barrels or you could just do one at a time independently. Yeah, that's really awesome. Yeah, they uh, there's some really cool stuff going on with both controllers. Like I think this Xbox Series X controller is really comfortable. I think the D-pad is great. Uh, the triggers and the grip have like a better texture to them. Mm -hmm. uh, and the share button is really awesome where you press it. It's a, it's a new button in the middle of the controller. You press it once like a quick press and it'll take screenshots. You hold it mm -hmm. and it will uh, do video. So you don't have to go back to the home screen or the, the sidebar menu in order to uh, do that. So you don't have to throw like everything into a screeching halt just to take your little video. Right. So we're going to do some Yakuza like a dragon. Ooh, yes. This is also the Xbox Series X version of this game. That's fast load. That is. This is a Jeff Cork favorite, if I'm not mistaken, correct? I love it. Oh. Jeff Cork jam. So, so what is your purpose here? What are you What are you going to show us? Are you just going to walk in and out? just going to run around, maybe fight a couple guys. Yeah. Let's fight these guys. All right. Seem like they're fixing for a fight. Yeah. Suspicious men. Yep. I knew it. <laughs> and this famously has changed the the traditional brawler action to like more of a turn-based sequence for fighting. Which yeah, I was messing around with a, a little bit with it this morning, and it seems fine. I, yeah, I mean it's it almost Persona esque with like the menu system and everything. 
Um, but it's it's very traditional like JRPG turn based, which I think is a refreshing twist on the genre because like or the 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 uh, the franchise mm-hmm. for sure. It's uh, I don't know. I I kind of you know three Yakuza games in, I was starting to get a little tired of like mm-hmm. running into street thugs yeah. every block and then having to just mash buttons and do combos yeah. to take them out. Well, this is I'm tired of shooting these guys with my gun in Call of Duty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Essence of Handbag Hurricane, baby. It's one of her more Ooh. powerful moves. And he's weak to that. I I am as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not bad. Cool. So there is something cool that it'll do where like if you're in the way, like if, if there's like an environmental object, because like in the Yakuza games, like up to this point, like grabbing environmental items and like bashing somebody's head mm-hmm. in with a bike or something like that yeah. is a big part of the game. Uh, with this, if you happen to like be in between, or like, there's an object in between you and the bad guy, mm-hmm. you'll either kick it over at them or grab it and uh, and like use it as, as like an additional attack. Yeah, I am gonna miss not beating everybody up with bikes. That's <laughs> kind of my go-to in these yeah. games. But. So we're gonna do a one of his strongest attacks. Mm. Cool. After this fight, do we want to show the menu and say goodbye? Yeah. Love it. I did need to see you see you whoop this guy. Yeah. He's weak to getting hit with a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, so uh it's got a I was wondering what that was. It didn't look like a baseball bat. That is a massive massage machine. So if you equipped that while oh, you were playing ah. this morning, Jeff Cork, thank you. Oh, I did not actually. That's weird. <laughs> All right, we'll just yeah, we'll go with that massive massage machine. Yeah. There you go. Like Saints Row. Keeping this PG, Terrific. I love it. Um, yeah. So let's just jump into one more game, real quick. <clears throat> cool. It's got to be uh, Sonic Generations, right? We got to go go back. Sonic Mania. Check out a 360 game. Yeah, let's check out Street Fighter Four. Hmm. Everybody loves that game, right? <clears throat> Arguably, the best Street Fighter game. Wow. Maybe. maybe. I, I, I like Ultra Street Fighter 4 as maybe my favorite Street Fighter game. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. Though, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That, it's a classic. That's where it's at. Does Marvel vs. Capcom count? No. no. Right. Also, it's not the best, well, so it doesn't matter. Well, yeah. then, my point <laughs> is moot. It is. Moving on. So we're just gonna check out how an Xbox 360 game runs on here. Let's skip this. Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. So I do have the Ultra DLC for this. Bloody da. Yeah. So I wish that we could check out Street Fighter 5, but they made that exclusive. I'm shocked that that's still exclusive. You can get it on PC, but. They made it seem like it was never not going to be exclusive, also. Yeah. All right. All right, let's skip that. Let's just get into a fight. Let's do it. That's what Street Fighter I'll throw does down best. right now. This is gonna be one hell of a show. So as soon as he's done talking, they let us go. Are you ready? Fight! Jay, you better win this. That's all I know. I know. Better not make us look dumb. <laughs> I'm glad that we're showing off the new hardware with uh, the 360 game. Yeah. Street Fighter 4. Yeah. <laughs> An 11 year old game, I think. I'm sure, the comment section is very happy right now. Yeah. All right. So, All right. anything else you want to say before we. Uh, no, sir. Sign out of here? I think yeah. you've done an expert job. Excellent. So. Mm. One more time for good measure. Nope. Nope. There we go. Quick resume. Ah. Right back to Assassin's Creed. Perfect. If you didn't believe it. We've done it thrice now, so <laughs> you better <laughs> believe true. it. All right. That is awesome. Great. What is this thing out? It's November 10th. Beautiful. That's the same day as the S, which we don't have in the office. We don't have that uh, yet, no. Hopefully, we'll get it soon. Mm-hmm. And then we can do similar stuff for that system. All right. Sounds so great. Get ready for some more Gears 5 and Street Fighter 4. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Ha ha ha. What a fantastic episode of new gameplay today. Come back every week for fun, informational looks at new releases and early previews of unreleased games. Ha ha ha. 
Stay subscribed and I guarantee there will be an episode about Cyberpunk 2077 at some point down the line.